Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz. Oh, why am I doing this video? Well, I'm doing this video because I was watching a video by Pantofli last night on the same subject. And I don't normally do this. I don't normally, you know, do a sort of comment on a video that another YouTuber has put up. But I wanted to do this one for various reasons. Now, first and foremost, I think Pantofli's videos is, 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 is fantastic and there's a link to his video on this very subject down below and I suggest you go and watch it. The reason I'm doing this video is a kind of rebuttal because whilst I agree with what most of Pantofli is saying, um, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't fully agree with what he's saying. Now couple of things guys. Firstly, Pantofli is a, a, a fantastic YouTuber, number one. Uh, secondly, he's a much better player of this game than I ever will be. So I'm not trying to second guess him, I'm not trying to say that um, he's got everything completely wrong, because that would just be completely incorrect. Trust me, this, this guy, Pantofli, knows a lot more about the game than I do, to an extent. But with what he was saying on the HP buff to the heavies coming in 6.9, I, 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 sorry, I don't subscribe to the same views. Now, the reason I say that is because I watched his video of interest and I, I ummed in it hard and I thought, yeah, he makes some very, very good points. And the main thrust of his points was that you know the HP buff is needed for the heavies because they're dying too quickly and you know, the, the the mediums dominate the tier, which, to be perfectly honest with you, I agree with. Yes, medium tanks do dominate the tier. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the heavy tanks should get a buff. And the reason I think they're getting a buff, to be perfectly honest with you, is to power creep the ATGMs. I don't think they're getting a buff for any other reason. Now, I may be wrong, but, you know, the, the heavies have been in the game for a long time, to be perfectly honest with you, and, you know, all the tanks have a set role on the battlefield. And let's be honest, heavies are not medium tanks. Heavies are there to be bullies. They're there to sort of push into the front line, but not to the extent where they die and have the other side sort of focus them in, if they can, bounce as many shots. That allows the mediums and the lights to effectively mop up, with the heavies being covered by the TDs. Now, that is how I see it. Now, okay, that may not be correct, but that's how I see the game. I see the heavies as those tanks that are there to basically absorb the shots and the reason why they die quickly in my opinion is because people misunderstand how to use heavies on certain occasions whereby they think oh I've got a heavy tank I'll just YOLO as best I can in a heavy because they're pretty slow into the thicker things and you know do my best now all the tanks in Blitz have a role to play in the heavy tanks, they do have big armor, but they are slow, and they generally have a slow reload, and they generally dish out a lot of damage. Whereas mediums don't have as much armor, they have a faster reload, and they dish out less damage than the heavy, but quickly. In the reason, and, and, and of course, they're quicker because they're mediums. And there's a reason for that. I mean, the heavies are not meant to be rolling all over the battlefield. They're, they're, they're meant to be frontlining it, not to the extent where you're fully exposed and everybody can pen you, but to the extent where people try to focus you. And their medium should be rallying around, being a nuisance, and picking off those tanks. Because every tank that is picking off air, is shooting at a heavy, is not shooting at a medium. And the heavies work most effectively when there's a TD behind them, covering their backsides. So, whilst I fully agree with Pantooth in, in so far as he's saying that, 
you know, the pro players and the best players would prefer to go out in mediums. I, I totally understand that. But there's a reason for that. It's their mobility, their rate of fire, and, you know, the, 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 their, their ability to basically be a nuisance. Whereas the heavies are slow and cumbersome. But that doesn't mean to say you need to buff them. Now, I'm not saying that the buff is a bad thing, but I'm trying to look at the reasons behind the buff. And I, 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 I really, I personally think the reason behind this buff is nothing more than to power creep the ATGMs. In other words, it's easier to buff the heavies than to do a second nerf on the ATGMs. And what we've got recently in the game is ATGMs that can pen and literally decimate heavy tanks. And these are light tanks, and that shouldn't happen. So that's why I think this buff is come. However, it's only coming to the tier 10 heavies, which is going to make it so much harder to play a tier 9 heavy. Because in a tier 9 heavy, you're not going to get the armor buff, and you're still going to be facing ATGMs, and you're also going to be facing tier 10 heavies. So it's a bit weird, I think, to just buff the tier 10 heavies. I mean, why? Why only the tier 10s? I mean, the tier 9s have the same problem. I mean, just consider the following in the tech tree. The E100 currently has 2,300 hit points. That is now going to rise to 2,750. Now, to get to the E100, you need to get the E75. That's not changed. That's still going to have 1,800 hit points. So you've got a tier 9 tank that has got almost 1,000 hit points less than the next tank up. Yet then we go down to get to the E75, you need the Tiger 2, which we all know has recently been buffed. That's now got 1,600 hit points, 200 less, and that's a tier 8. So the tier 9s are now going to struggle, and they're going to struggle massively, I think, with this new buff. So whilst I think it's, it's you know, do I think it's a good idea to buff the heavies and their armour? Um, I'm in two minds. I mean, I don't mind them being buffed, to be honest with you. But as I said, I think the re but I, as I said, I think the reason they're being buffed is because of ATGMs. Number one is to power creep that anomaly, and two, I don't agree with just buffing the tier tens because you've now got this massive disparity between tier ten and tier nine. And don't forget, if you roll out in a tier nine E75. The chances are you are going to be in a tier 10 fight where you're going to now be facing monsters. I mean, that's it. I mean, the mouse is difficult enough to face with its 2700 hit points. It's going to go up, by the way, to 3000 hit points. Sorry, it's 2500 hit points. That is now going to go up to 3000 hit points. I mean, your poor IS, I mean, your IS8 is good, it's got good pen. But your poor tier 9 heavies now are going to struggle. Admittedly, your T92 is now going to find it a lot harder to whittle down your mouse. And that's why I think this buff is coming. So whilst I welcome a buff to the HP of the heavies, I don't welcome the reason for the buff. Because I really think the reason is to power creep these ATGMs. And that's where I disagree with Pan Pantherfleet, because he thinks the reason is because the, the, the heavies are just dying quickly and, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not the tanks they should be in the game. Whereas I, I agree with him that they do die quickly, I agree with him that there's a disparity, but I don't agree that the reason for the buff is because of that. I really think the reason for the buff is ATGMs and to power creep them without nerfing them further. And this is why I think Wargaming have gone wrong. Because I truly believe, and I've said it from the off, the penetration values and the damage being churned out by the ATGMs is obscene. I don't mind missiles, to be perfectly honest with you. And I don't, to, be, to, to an extent, I don't mind the damage that the missiles do. 
but I do have an issue with the amount of pen and I definitely have an issue with the amount of damage that the APCRs do because you've now got a light tank with light tank camo, fast mobility, trolley armor that can devastate tier 10 heavies. And I'm talking about the tier 90, 92, I'm not even talking about the Sheridan. That is the issue. And this is why this buff has come, I think, to power creep those instead of doing the right thing and nerfing them correctly. So that's why I disagree with Panther Fleet and that's why I did this video. Not because I'm, I'm, I'm having a dig at him, I'm not. His video is fantastic and I really say everybody get over there and check it out because he makes some fantastic points. And as I said, I mean, he's a much better player than me. He's more knowledgeable than me. We just differ on the reasons. Anyway, I've been food it. That has been my sort of two pennies worth onto the recent proposed, the planned, the buff that is coming in 6.9. I'd like to thank Esquire of the clan EMRS for kindly allowing me to show his replay of the Chieftain Mark VI. It was a fantastic mastery. By all means, comment, like, and all the other stuff below. Get over and see Pantaflee's video. It's fantastic. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Lovely thing to do. Puts a smile on my face. Makes me happy. And until the next time, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.